Welcome to the podcast interview number four, and it's May 6, 2018, where this is about your rise, where you've been, where you are today, your dreams of the future, and the struggles you've been through. Before I introduce my guest today, I just want to thank everybody for following me on um, YouTube, and make sure, if you're watching this right now, make sure you go to podbean.com, and then go to Michael Pina Senior Show podcast all right so today in studio we got caleb dean how you doing today caleb i'm doing good all right hey listen he's our youngest guy that we've had in here so far so this is going to be fun so hey first tell us tell us a little bit about yourself pretend you just met me on you know wherever and you're going to tell me about caleb dean well 14 i go to berkeley high i'm very athletic i i like track and field that's my passion right now as well like and modeling, obviously. Um, I'm carrying. That's that's, <laughs> hey, that's that's a lot of stuff now. Okay, so you're 14 years old. Mm-hmm. That, so what does that make you? A freshman? Yeah, I'm a freshman. Freshman in high school. That's yeah. my old alma mater, Brockton High School, by the way, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so um, so tell me at 14. So this is kind of strange because I always ask people. And usually the answer is around 12 or 14. But the question is, when did you first discover that you wanted to get into modeling? How old were you? I started actually at three. My, wow. my parents signed me up. But like, I didn't really realize it was a passion until like, I was like eight, nine years old. So I was getting older. So I realized what I was doing. Like, so I actually thought about so it. So you started to really like it at eight, nine years old. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's fantastic. But you started doing it when you were three? Yeah. Wow! Wow! That's a, that's a, that's different. All right. So eight or nine years old, and now you're fourteen today. So you know. So what are you doing today? Tell me what you're doing as far as modeling. What do you tell me? What you're doing as a model? Um. Usually, I just wait for my agent to text me when there's jobs available, and we'll go wherever. And most of the time, it's like it has to do with Hasbro. And Hasbro has been like my number one thing, and they call me back for like stuff like Nerf. I've also done like Lego stuff, and that's when. So basically, your agent gets a call and they say they need a fourteen-year-old boy, yeah, to kind of fill this role, mm-hmm. and then he calls you up and say you're available to do the work, yeah. And then, of course, you say yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? You're not going to say no. <laughs> That's good. That's good because you learn that, like I do sports, right? And mm-hmm. I tell people all the time, when you get that phone call to go do a game, you say no, they go to the next guy, and guess what happens? Next time something comes up, mm-hmm. you're yeah, not even on the right. list. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So that's good. So you, you've been doing a lot of gigs. You've been doing a lot of things right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So Bill, that's what I got to ask you, too. Do you do some acting, too? Are you doing some acting? No, not really. I consider like myself more as like a picture model, but I feel like in the future when I mature and get older, acting will be easier and like could be like a young Denzel. <laughs> the young Denzel, right? Right? Come on, you know, you're gonna get on screen. That's good mm-hmm. stuff, right? Yeah. So, so right now, so you do more pictures. So, so what have you been doing? Like, I know that you said that they call you for like Hasbro or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, so in other words, are you modeling for Hasbro? Are you modeling for these different things? Yeah. And most of the time, it, like, as I go more and more, I recognize more people in the business, like at the Hasbro studio and like the director or whoever keeps on calling me back and they like my work. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Yeah, that's awesome. So, so basically, what you got, you've got um, connections. You're getting connections, (laughs) right? So you go in there, they see you, they go, "Oh, we gotta get that kid back." Yeah, and I think that goes along with me starting like at a young age. Like, I've gone like to jobs in the past year, and they'd be like, "Oh, I remember you from jobs I've done years ago," and they didn't realize it was the same kid, and they saw like the progress and how old I was now. We're surprised. Wow. Yeah, that's great. That's exactly what you got to do. So tell me, how much time do you have to put into this for modeling? Tell me how much, tell me a day or how much time. Like in a day? Yeah. Not a lot. Well, so if you're going to, say I call you up, Mm -hmm. or Hasbro calls you up, and they want you to do a modeling shoot. Yeah, Mm -hmm. a job. They want you to do a modeling shoot. 
How much time? Do you just go in there, they take a picture and you're gone? No, because usually like it's far away, so it takes the drive is a while. So I'm traveling, it's not like down the street. So that takes its time, like getting ready, picking out the outfits, knowing what I need to wear for the job, like depending on what type of job it is. Um, it could be all day, like I've had to miss school sometimes to do an all day shoot. But also there's been jobs where it's like just a two hour minimum. And oh, okay. I've been in there for a half an hour at times and still got paid for two hours. Oh, good. So if you're doing the job right, though, you can get in and out quickly. Okay, I gotcha. So they usually have maybe picked out what they want you to wear. Yeah. You get there, they, they get you dressed. Mm -hmm. They put makeup on you, they do makeup yeah. and stuff, Every right? <laughs> yeah. so, so they do all that mm -hmm. and then they do the shoot. And if it takes two hours, it takes two hours, but sometimes they get it right the first time mm -hmm. and you're done. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So so sometimes you're spending more time in the car than the actual shoot, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So now how does that, you're a freshman in high school, how does that time go with what you do in school? So you put, I know you're going to put in a yeah. six hour day. I mean, I like, with modeling, the thing is, it doesn't really interfere with your school. Like, if you're doing extracurricular activities, like, you're not going to have to give that up. Like, you can still follow both of your passions at the same time because modeling is flex flexible like that. So you're able to go to school, and do you do anything? Like, do you have any sports? Yeah. You, what do you do? Track what do you do? Field. Oh, track and field. Yeah. Oh, good. What do you run? The mile. Oh, really? Yeah. I could only do sprints. <laughs> you know what I mean? I used to say, I, I play football, and there's no football field that's longer than 100 yards. <laughs> so that's the furthest I'm going. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you, you run a mile. How are you doing in that? I'm doing good. There's I'm the only freshman distance runner, but like I can hang in there with some of the best guys in my team. Wow, that's tough. But, that's yeah. tough stuff. Because I remember that we used to run to the uh, armory and mm -hmm. then run back. Do they make you do that during the winter? Like, what's your distance run? Like, we could, we'll do miles at time. Like, we do four, five mile, mile runs. Like, we do long runs, like, hour long runs around the city. Wow, that's good stuff. Now, do you do the um, DW um, road race? Yeah, I do it. Oh, so, good! I actually did it uh, the Saturday before this, and I won for my first time. D you came in first place? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> All right, so you're, you're an athlete. Yeah. So you're a model, you're an athlete, and yeah. how are you doing in school? I'm doing good. This is the best year I've had since ever. <laughs> yeah, this is the best year I've had in school. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, well, here's a funny question I was going to ask you. Do, and, and I don't know, listening to you talk right now, I don't think this is... It, 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 but I'm going to ask you. Mm -hmm. Has your voice started to change, you think? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so how yeah. do you think that will affect you? You don't do... I thought that was to with the acting question. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I thought you were into some acting. But do you think that would affect anything that you're doing? Not with the modeling, but maybe with the acting? Yeah, I think it would. Well, like, say if I was called for like something animated or something, like it would change the different like perspective. Also, like there's been jobs I couldn't able to do because there was like a height limit or you had to be this tall. And like, really? Yeah, and I didn't meet the requirements. I didn't. Oh, so yeah, they needed um, a fourteen-year-old, six-foot, fourteen-year-old boy. Yeah, something like that. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And what? I mean, your mother sent me the the thing. Are you five foot seven? Yeah, five foot seven, five foot eight. Yeah, she sent the whole thing to me, so yeah, I had yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, and and you know, don't let that bother you, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Good. So let's see. Oh, here's a good one. How important is your look to you? Like to you, to you. Very important. I think, like your look when you go somewhere is a lot. It means a lot. Like it's your first impression on people. Just like coming here today. Like if I was in sweatpants and a hoodie, you wouldn't take me serious. Yeah, good. That's a great, a great answer. Now, who does your hair? It's not natural. Like it's natural. <laughs> what do you mean you don't get a cut at all? I mean, that? I get a cut, but. <laughs> the but Shannon's a good. Uh, Hairdresser. So if you ever knew the hairdresser, she's A1. She's A1 over here. All right. So so you told me about track and field and everything, but what else do you like to do as a normal kid? So in other words, you know, what else do you do outside of school, outside of track and field, outside of modeling? Tell me what you do as a normal kid. Well, family is a big thing. I like to spend time with family, whether it's listening to music in the car or just watching TV, watching movies. Yeah, and, and who's your favorite actor? 
Big Mac. Or, or Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, nice. Great. Sorry. And what's your favorite movie? Out of Kingsman. That action movie. Out nice. of action movies. Nice. Yeah, really funny. See, that was what the sub I was asking the question without even mm-hmm. looking. Do you play video games? Yeah. What's your favorite video game? Well, like, I don't, not like Xbox, PlayStation, like, apps more than. Oh, anything. so you like playing on your phone? Yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you. And, and your mom's here today. Mm-hmm. So obviously you got a mother. Mm-hmm. What else do you have? I know you got a dad. What else you got? You got siblings, right? I have two sisters, two older sisters. One is their first year of college and one is in their third. Third year of college? Yeah. Holy crap. Where'd the time go? Right? Because <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, just so you guys know out there. And I got these baseballs here right here because I don't want to leave this out. You know who these balls are from? My grandfather. Your grandfather. I played Little League Baseball with his grandfather, met his mother. I don't know, I was 10 years old. So that was a a long time ago. (laughs) That's all I'm going to say. That was a long time ago. And these are game balls from his father. Still in in the plastic, okay? Game balls. All right? Signed by my teammates right here. Yeah, exactly. Right? (laughs) Right? So, um, yeah, I always like to point that out, you know, mm-hmm. because um, he was very special to me. And I, and I always say, you know, as a young person, he was the first one that instilled into me, you know, how important it was to win. Mm-hmm. And I believe that. No, but mm-hmm. I believe that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not one of those guys, and I tell the story all the time about those participation trophies, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. exactly. So you got, there's got to be a winner, there's got to be a loser, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And somebody like you, you're putting yourself in a position to win. And it's in your blood, mm-hmm. right? It's in your blood to win. And, you know, there's going to be losses. There's going to be times where things just don't go right. And it's like, you got to handle it. And yeah. that's what he taught me. You know what I mean? And it's still in me today, to this day. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Which is awesome. So, here's a good question. Mm-hmm. What do you consider a lot of money? Like... A single, like, what do you like consider a single a lot shoe? Of money? Like, what are you talking about? Like well, like, all right. What if you were gonna make money mm-hmm. for you? What would you consider a lot of money to make yearly? Like yeah. full time model, like a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. That's yeah, all I was if that was my that's... only thing I was doing, yeah, I'd want to make more than that. So if you're making good money like that, what do you think the first thing you'd want to buy? A nice house, nice house. A nice yeah. house for yourself. Nice, house, nice car. But next year, what if you did that in a year? Next year, you're 15. You buy a nice house and a car for yourself. But no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, what? I don't know. I would like right now. I have a bank account I'm saving it for college, so that's what I use it for now. Like I don't spend it on. So college. right now you're yeah. looking at college, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And what are you thinking about for college? What are you thinking about? Your well, future. I want to be a Division One athlete. I want to get scholarships to help pay for the thing because I don't want to pay the 60, 70,000 some colleges make you pay. Nowadays. Yeah, it, it's a big problem. And I talk about it on my show is student debt. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a big problem. And then I don't know if you heard about my son's college at mm-hmm. Monida. They shut down because they were in debt. Mm-hmm. They shut the doors. Yeah. $77 million in debt they were. And they sold out to UMass Amherst, and all the kids don't have school to go to now. But, yeah, did you hear about that one? No, I never heard Yeah, that. that's a whole nother issue, another mm-hmm. mess. But that's great. So you're looking at college, and what do you think you would take in college? What are you looking at as far as colleges? Math classes, business school, like learning about the business world, because that will help me with going to shoes. Like, if I ever was a director, owned a modeling company, or like a fashion, just business. Business is very... So would you want to own your own place someday? I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. But I I could see that. That'd be very cool. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And you see where I'm getting at here. Like we mm-hmm. talked about where you started. We, we got in the middle. Now we're looking at the future. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it's like that. So what where do you see yourself in 10 years? Where do you, where you ever look at... Sometimes you've got to look at yourself and say... I see myself there in 10 years. What do you think? What do you see yourself? 10 years, I see myself coming out of law school and being um, like a fitness model or something. Wow. So wait a minute. You're going to come out of law school. Uh-huh. You're going to be a lawyer. Yeah. And you'll be a fitness model. Yeah. 
Do we mix? No, but I mean, you said you're gonna make a hundred thousand a year. That's like five hundred thousand a year. How would that sound? That sound a little better to you? You know what I mean? So it's like. You know, if you can have the passion to do that, you can do well enough in school, you do well enough now in modeling, mm -hmm. you can reach that goal. Mm -hmm. 10 years from now, making 500,000 a year because of the work you put in now. Mm -hmm. And you'd only be 24 years old. Yeah, like people don't realize <laughs> like in high school, you have like that's where it really counts because like whatever you want to be, if you want to go to college or like a trade school, whatever, it starts in high school. Absolutely. And, and that's what I talk about too is what we call a utilitarian education. So mm -hmm. that means whatever you go to school for, mm -hmm. you're gonna come right out and make money at it. Yep. You know what I mean? And if mm -hmm. you're a model, you could work your way through high school, I mean college, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And pay for college and go reach for the mm -hmm. stars. That's awesome. That, that, I didn't even expect that. I didn't <laughs> expect a lawyer answer, you know? <laughs> so, so what are you taking now for classes like to kind of, um, are you just taking general classes general right now? classes, I was in the truck uh, trade program at the beginning of the year, so I took carpentry, automotive, and technical like computer stuff. Oh yeah. So that was that was good. Hopefully, I get into the thing next year and learn more about it. So like, I don't have to pay a mechanic to fix my own car. I just go outside in my truck and do it in the future. Yeah, you, you're smart enough to do yeah. that. So you taking some of your modeling money now and saving for a car? No college. Just college. college? Yeah. So I would suggest you start putting a little bit mm -hmm. for a car. Mm -hmm. You want to pay cash. <laughs> you want to pay cash. Yeah. Remember, cash is king. Mm -hmm. Debt is dumb. Cash is king. <laughs> I live my show on that, right? Mm -hmm. But you put a little away because you don't need like a ten thousand dollar car. Yeah. But to have two or three thousand dollars, a nice car. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So then I, I look forward to seeing what you would pick out too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, I already asked about college. Um, I'm just uh, looking at my notes here. So, at the top of your profession, mm -hmm. right? So you want to be a model, but you know maybe you talked about maybe being an actor. Where do you see the top of your profession being at? So, in other words, what's the zenith, the top, the absolute best? Hollywood or like big magazines. Like if you're at Walmart walking by and you see a magazine, like I'd like to have my face. Like on GQ? And it, and like, what's a magazine? Like, Tell me a magazine you see your picture on, your face on. Sports Illustrated. Sports <laughs> Illustrated. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so, like, you, so, but as an athlete. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? Both. Yeah, or both. Or both? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, they do that, um, that model issue. The, so, the, the, um, they always have the athletes do the, uh, modeling. So, you'd mm -hmm. definitely be in that. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. What other magazine? Because I'm just interested in knowing gotta be another magazine you look at i don't really look at magazines like that but like, i don't know so yeah. where would you want to have your picture in other words you know you you did like a macy's catalog or something like that or BJ's. you were in a bj's bj's, yeah. BJ's that's right Two, twice oh twice you were yeah. in bj's yeah. so you were in bj's so that's here where would you want here to be where would you want you to be in besides sports illustrator Anywhere, anything. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Who you don't even no, know. I don't know. <laughs> I need an answer because I because like I say, I want to see ten years from now if you reach that goal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think that you're gonna you're gonna reach a lot of goals. You got a lot of stuff, a lot of good things going for you. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we're gonna talk about Chewbacca, mom. You told me about that one mm -hmm. coming in here. Yeah. So tell me about what Chewbacca Mom is, so we can listen. That's YouTube, right? Yeah, YouTube sensation. YouTube sensation. Yeah, she was a YouTube. She had the. Oh, she was a YouTube. So look up Chewbacca Mom, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit now. What's Chewbacca Mom? Tell us about that. Chewbacca Mom is this woman that went to the store and just got a Chewbacca mask, and she made this video of her laughing hysterically with the mask, and like the voice was going over it, and then it went viral. She got famous, she got like called on talk shows. I forget exactly what late shows, but she was on like TV at some point and now she's doing like Hasbro's using her to market their company. So and that's by going on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Just 
by going viral by making a video one day. You know, and that's what I'm just guys help me get my videos viral, will mm -hmm. you? I need some yeah. help here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to be Chewbacca dad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But didn't you do something with her? Yeah, I did uh, Star Wars. It was a Halloween theme, and she, it was like terror bears going up, and we just were trick or treating at this like nice, really nice house with her. It was me and two other kids. And when you were Darth Vader in it, yeah. And so you're you got the mask got on the mask whole time. On. Yeah, the mask on. <laughs> but is that is that on YouTube? Yeah. So you can still look that up if you mm -hmm. look up Chewbacca mom. You're in the Darth Vader. It, it, it yeah. never come up, and you're in the Darth yeah. Vader suit. Yeah, Hasbro. Yeah. All right. So Hasbro, Darth Vader suit, right? Mm -hmm. and, and didn't you do some other Nerf things too? I did Nerf perks, Nerf rewards. It's like that was really nice too. It was a nice like big house. We went out. It was basically like this van they styled to look like a Nerf delivery guy, and he came to the came to the lawn, and we ran to him and like grabbed our boxes. And it was really fun. It was a fun shoot. Like, and that was an all day thing. That was and fun. that was, you were acting though. Yeah. That was an acting. Without words. Yeah. 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 That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and where can we see that? So we can get a look at YouTube, that. Just search Nerf Rewards. Nerf so, Rewards. Yeah. Nerf Rewards or on perks. YouTube. Nerf. Or Nerf Perks. Yeah, both. Well. Nerf Perks. All right. You get any, uh, like, do you get paid if they keep on going on YouTube to look at it? No. No? No. I want to be there soon where, depending on how much I market a company, I get paid every time. That's oh, where I, want to be. I see. I see. So you could get money for marketing it right now. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, no, well, you don't know. I don't know. I'm yeah. just saying, you know. Yeah. Um, so you brought some pictures, mm -hmm. right? Let me just take a look at them. I haven't looked at these yet, so I want to look at some of these. And I'm going to ask you some questions about these. All right. All right Holy. When I was wait younger. a minute. Wait a minute. I know on the podcast you can't see this, but it starts out. How old are you here? Like four, five years old. Four years old. Four years old. Wow. And what are these from? The same thing. So every time you join a modeling agency, you need to buy um, photo shoes to get a comp card. So like for Hasbro, for example, if they're looking at Dynasty Models, that's where they would see my face and pick this kid. So there, that's how you market yourself. So you you go to this company dynasty. Mm -hmm. You get your picture taken from them. Yeah. And you then have to pay like a fee to to dynasty. Yeah. And then the company like Hasbro mm -hmm. will go through a bunch of pictures from dynasty. Yeah. See this and pick it out. And then they, they pick you up. Well, yeah. Oh, I got you. I see them. That's what exactly mm -hmm. I wanted to learn. This is TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, I don't know if you can see that over there. It was a Halloween uh, costume thing. It was on the um, the front of TJ Maxx for two years in a row. The oh, big, really? The big poster was like, yeah. Like outside? Yeah, it was outside oh, wow. in the front window. That's when I was really younger. And what's this from? What magazine? Kid Time? Yeah. Again, I don't know if you can see it. I'm hoping that you can see that at home. <laughs> and I know podcast listeners, if you listen to podcasts, you're going to have to go to YouTube to see some pictures. That's when I was about 9, 10 years old. That's my second comp card. Usually, like, in the modeling agency, you have to get one, like, every three to four years. Or, like, say I was, like, 11 when I got one, and then I was 13. Like, if I, I, if I looked too different when I was 13, they'd make you get another one. So, a comp card. Tell me what that is. I heard that. That's basically your ID? Your yeah, kind of your yeah, modeling your ID, ID. Your modeling ID. Or face shot. We call them face shots. Okay. So, what you're saying, just like when you go to the registry, like, they look at me and they say, we can't use this old uh, license. Yeah. You need your picture yeah, taken you again. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you're getting mm -hmm. older looking. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. I gotcha. See, I like this one with the football. I put a football picture up on my, uh, on my commercial for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, where's this at one at? This was just in Boston, like middle of Boston at some park. We were walking on the side of the streets taking some pictures. So this is good stuff. This these are some the of the updated. ones, right, I was just going to say, like these are the ones that I've seen. I put these ones on, that's the one I put on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's the one I put on Facebook, the football one. Okay. I just happen to be a football guy. Yeah. You know what I 